Hey YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Booze Review. I know I don't do a lot of these, I know. I like to give you my thoughts on booze. Again, booze isn't my strong point. I was a whiskey drinker before I turned into beer drinking, and I was a gin drinker before I turned into beer drinking. So those being said, let's look at another booze. This time, we are looking at a bourbon. A La Broe Graham. Woodford Reserve Distillery Select Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey at 45.2% alcohol. You'll notice that about half the bottle's gone. I just did another review where I went on about this. I bought this bottle. I haven't even had a drink out of this bottle yet. If you are a house guest, and you're at a place with, I don't know, 60 bottles of alcohol, and you're going to go and help yourself to a drink, because you feel that since you're the father-in-law, you deserve to do that. That's fine. I agree with you. I have lots of booze. You should be able to make yourself a drink. But do not fucking open and drink half of a bottle that hasn't been opened yet. Maybe I was saving it for something. Maybe I was doing this. Maybe I was doing that. It doesn't fucking matter. I should be the first one to get a shot out of it. And I shouldn't get a shot after half the bottle's gone. This is a small bottle, you can see. This was actually expensive. This small bottle, which is a Mickey, it's 375 milliliters for you Americans that don't know what a Mickey is. A Mickey is 13 ounces. Well, 13 and a half ounces instead of the regular 26 ouncer. So, uh, half of a 26 ouncer. Um, I believe this was like 30 bucks just for the Mickey. And uh, I bought it because we sell this at work, and I smell the boozes at work. Why? Because because of my shit with beer and all that, I actually will go around if I haven't had a booze and go, mm, and go to the next booze and do it to the next booze. I actually enjoy sniffing booze. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Um, but uh, it really, I'll smell a booze and I'll know if I want to even give it a shot or not. There is actually a uh, two gins at work that we sell up in the high-end lounge. And one gin I really want to try and one gin I do not want to go near because of what I've smelt out of the bottle. And I'm glad I sniffed them because they're both like $60 gins. So one of them I will pay the 60 bucks for at some point in my life and the other one I will never pay the 60 bucks for. So that being said, let's try some Woodford Reserve bourbon, which is a bourbon that I actually do enjoy the scent of and have bought specifically because of the scent. So you can see nice golden color, uh, almost honey, almost a honey color. I like, I like a honey color. Yeah, I like a honey color. Nice cork. Put the cork in. Put that there up there. So here we go with the Glen Cairn glass. Glen Cairn. Glen Cairn. Ooh. What do I get when I sniff this? What do I get? I get a lot of vanilla. I get a lot of toffee. Ooh, I get some plum even. Plum, vanilla, toffee, paint thinner. You can't deny the paint thinner. I mean, it's 45.2% alcohol. It's overproof. It does have a very alcoholic scent. And these glasses <laughs> do not help to hide an alcohol scent. They really don't. But, vanilla, toffee, plum, alcohol, ooh, it has that like, um, new leather scent. Um, it has that new leather scent, like when you, say, go to... When you walk into Danier Leather, and all you, you get assailed by the smell of all those leather coats. Or you buy a new car with leather seats. Or you buy a new leather love seat, and the first time you sit on that leather couch, and you push the air out of that couch, and it all assails your nostrils. It's a beautiful scent. Let's try it.
Oh, yeah. Okay, so I reviewed Crown Royal, uh, Crown Royal Black. Not nearly even close to the same quality as this. But Crown Royal Black is 45. This is 45.2. This does burn. It warms your whole throat down. But the Crown Royal Black was basically alcohol and nothing else. This, you're getting vanilla. You, well, I'm getting vanilla. I'm getting toffee. I'm getting, I'm getting fruits. Uh, raisins, prunes, plums. I am getting wood. Straight up wood. You are getting the barrel that this has been aged in. You are like uh, virgin oak almost. Um, I don't know if they char their oak. I don't know what they do with their oak, but it tastes like a virgin oak barrel. Just, just woody. Just very woody. Um, this is a beautiful bourbon. I'm actually glad I picked this up. I wish it was cheaper because I'd like a bigger bottle to just sit on. Um, this is something that would be great over on ice, over rocks. Um, on the rocks, I could just see this being beautiful. I mean, you, you cool it down so it's going to be nice and cold. And you water it down so you pick up more of the flavors and get less of the burn. And those two things combined will make this a beautiful sipping bourbon. On its own right now, it's actually almost a good sipping bourbon. I mean, it warms up your stomach. The, the throat warms up with the second you sip it. But that's, a, that's about it. After you sip it, it's, it the, the warming is gone. And you're hit with that vanilla, that really woodiness. And then the fruitiness comes up. Like the first things you get is woodiness and vanilla, and then the fruitiness comes. Um, vanilla stays, and it actually almost almost builds into a toffee-like flavor. Um, screw top, no scratch toffee, butterscotch, butterscotch. So vanilla to butterscotch is what I'm getting with with the fruity and the woodies, and and the warming. This is beautiful. I actually really enjoy this. Out of 10 on the Woodford Reserve, easily, easily like an 8, an 825. I really enjoy this stuff. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll buy a Rhino Booze review. Bye.